Okay, now in our, our second video on the pentatonic patterns, we're going to cover um, pretty obviously pentatonic pattern two, which comes after pentatonic pattern one um, when moving up the neck. Um, and when I mean up, uh, of course, I mean going towards the uh, going moving away from the nut and moving towards the pickups. Going, so going to higher frequency or or higher pitch sounds. Um, and so pentatonic pattern two actually uh, is kind of uh, famous for these four notes here these this note that note that note and that note it's used in in blues context a lot um and so that's where some people may have actually learned this pattern as an extension of pentatonic pattern one and in fact you may have only learned about uh these four notes and maybe this note here um, but in fact, it is its own separate pattern. Um, the root starts in a different place. Um, as, as in video one, we're going to learn this pattern around the, um, the third fret here. So instead of having a G minor pentatonic today, we're going to have an E minor pentatonic playing in pattern two. And that can actually be a useful way to think about these pentatonic patterns is play all the pentatonic patterns or cycle through them uh, around the same fret and then see how the name of the key changes and so that's how i'm going to be doing these videos we're all going to be centered around the third fret so in video one we learned when the root was here it was g minor uh in video two we'll next see that for this pentatonic pattern we're going to either have a g, an e minor pentatonic or a g major pentatonic so um, if you're interested in pentatonic pattern two stick around okay so today we're gonna um now cover uh, pentatonic pattern two, so the second pentatonic pattern around the third fret. And so what I mean around the third fret is simply that um, uh, this, this, this lowest note in the scale, the lowest tone in the scale here, is at the third fret uh, on, on the E string here. Uh, so that makes it a G. And so in this case, we have a G major pentatonic, and in the same pattern, we have an E minor pentatonic because G major and E minor are the relative major minor uh, pairs. And so we can uh, see that from video one, we still have the same relative tones. The, the pattern looks different, but the tones and how they sound relative to each other is the same. It's root, two, three, five, six, root, for the major pentatonic and for the minor it's root flat third fourth fifth flat seventh root and so you get to learn the same scale in a different shape and that shape can really influence the kinds of licks that you that you will play you will find that you can learn a pentatonic lick in one pattern and then try to go play it in another pattern. And then sometimes that's easy and sometimes it's hard, just be dependent on the shape. Um, but that's one way to get variation um, of licks that you know. And that's why it's useful to know these things in terms of their shapes. The other way to learn these things is to stick with one pattern and move, or stick with one key. That is, pick your favorite, uh, E minor or G minor or whatever you want and move it up and down the neck. Um, that's, that's actually the way that I first learned the five patterns, but I think this is an alternate way of learning the patterns, which is stick around one common fret here, the third fret in this series of videos and cycle through the patterns and see how the names of the scales change. You'll see that the names of the scales change, but the pattern of notes that is in, in a, in a tonic sense is the same. It's this root two, three, five, six or root flat third, four, five, flat seventh, and back to root. Um, and so next, what I want to show you is what I showed you in video one, which is how do you now play the G major scale around this G major pentatonic at the third fret? Okay, so next I want to show you how to build the um, major scale around pentatonic pattern two. Again, we're going to be starting around the third fret, so this time it's going to be a G major scale. Um, and as in video one, we need to add two tones of the scale. We need to add the fourth and the seventh. This time it turns out that adding the fourth and the seventh um, to pattern two is actually really easy. There aren't 
really any choices that you need to make. They're made for you in terms of trying to keep the scale compact. So we have root two, three, here is the closest fourth, fifth, six, here's your closest seventh. Um, so this knows the seventh stays within the original box pattern of the pentatonic back to root and then second, third, fourth. Again, it stays within this original box, fifth, sixth, seventh. It's still in the original box um, in terms of using the same frets, uh, root, and then, of course, two again. And so this is a, a handy way to learn um, the major scale. We can start with root two, three, four, five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five, six, seven, root. And again, as I had mentioned before, um, if we start here at root, if we go back one fret, we get um, the seventh. We get, so we can go root seven, six, five, four, four, three, two, root, root seven, six, five, four, three, two, root. Um, so you have that extra note. Sometimes you'll actually start the scale here. You'll, you might even think about starting the scale on the seventh, although it may not sound as good. But there you have it. Again, you just need to add a couple of extra tones, um, but they tend to come in patterns. You'll notice that this makes um, this pattern of, of a half whole, half whole. So you get these three notes on the string, half whole, half whole. And then you get another pattern of three here, um, whole, half, whole, half. Then you get this interesting pattern where you get a string with actually only two notes on it. Um, and it's a half step, and then you get um, half whole again. And so uh, you can kind of start to memorize these things in terms of geometric patterns in that way. Um, it makes it really easy. So again, learn the pentatonic pattern too, and for a relatively little extra effort, you get to learn also the major scale around that pentatonic pattern too. And so um, I hope you find this helpful, and uh, if you do, Please comment and like and subscribe and uh, thanks for your attention.